Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. The Kenya is at least moving to where we wanted. At least. Kenya is slowly reforming to the picture that we all of us wanted to see. Today, I have been waiting to see Rachel Ruto in church. And uh, I haven't seen her. I've been waiting since morning. I don't know if she sneaked to church. Or maybe she attended and decided to keep a low profile. <laughs> so that uh, she can't be seen. As going against his husband's orders. Because we know when William Ruto came in public, he said he has immediately, with immediate effect, frozen funding to the office of the first lady, funding to the office of the second lady, and funding to the office of the prime uh, cabinet secretary's wife. There is something I want us to look at here. In June this year, the 2nd of June this year, Rachel Ruto traveled to South Korea for a Korea-Africa summit. On June 20th, those are Sundays. I'm just analyzing what she has been doing on Sundays. I just dated back to one month in June. So, second, she traveled to South Korea for a Korea-Africa summit. On 9th, that is Sunday of June, she was in church. 16th of the following week, Sunday, June, she was in Muatate in Taita Taveta for International Day for the Africa child. The following Sunday, 23rd of June, she was in Musungu in Vihiga County for International Widows Day. The following Sunday, on 30th June, this is at the time when Gen Z had started shaking the country. <laughs> When Kenya had started experiencing some turbulence, she went missing from the public. The whole of that Sunday, she was never seen in public. The 1st of July, now last Sunday, she was never seen in church. She was never seen in the public. She disappeared. Last week before this Sunday, Ruto said <clears throat> he has completely freezed funding to the office of the First Lady and others. For the first time in the history of the Republic of Kenya, the First Lady has gone missing from church for three consecutive Sundays. Yes, three consecutive Sundays. It, it, it's historic. It, it has never, we've never experienced this. It has never happened. And this depicts a reforming nation. We have said, let them go in charge, there's no problem. But, if it's Rucho, if it's Rachel going to church, let her go to church with his children. Mamba ya kubeba stavu ya state house ati munanda na yokanisa must cease. Sunday is a day of individual worship. Ruto the same. Today, he has not been seen in any church. If at all he attended a church, then 
he went in private. I have gone through all social media accounts that belong to the president. I haven't seen where he's gone to church today. I have gone through the accounts of the first lady. I have not seen her anywhere. The only person I've seen today in church is Pastor Doricus, and I will address that in my coming video. Let me say this. The Gen Z's were in Nairobi for Saba Shaba, and I will talk that later in my other video, because it's a long story that I need to extensively analyze so that you are able to get it how it goes. Let me say this. I really want to appreciate the generation called Gen Z's. Number one, you have successfully managed to send William Ruto into a private life. For the past three weeks, he is grounded in Kenya. He is not moved outside the Kenyan territory. For the first time, you have successfully managed to totally ground the first lady, Rachel Ruto, from attending the judge. Now, the question I was asking myself today, is it true that maybe the imposed regulations from Ruto are going to work? Yani, that we had press like now we had Moi. The entire Moi's life, we never saw his wife in public. The entire presidency of Moi. In the entire presidency of Moi Kibaki, we never saw his daughters in public. In the entire presidency of Uhuru Kenyatta, we never saw Uhuru Kenyatta's daughter loitering from one office to another, loitering from one Twitter account to another, holding press conferences with the student leaders. We never saw that drama. But today as we speak, Ruto has an office, Rachel Ruto has an office. Charlene Ruto, she has an office. June Ruto, you saw recently, she, uh, she, she, eh? is it a man, eh? June. June ni Muvlana, eh? They have an office, a director, in I don't know which office. I saw that Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, the reforms we are pushing for the Republic of Kenya is to try and safeguard public money. Why? Get me even one single project, successful project. We had a, we had a, we had a first lady, Mama Margaret Kenyatta. That woman could mobilize resources. She brought beyond zero campaign to raise resources to cushion women. She brought mobile clinics. She brought Linda Mama. She brought free sanitary pads for our girls in schools. Who you were to? She is using public resources. But tell me, even a single project she is running. Ruto promised women free um, diapers. She has never followed to know where those diapers disappeared to. William Ruto promised women a gas cylinder at 300 shillings. As a mother of this country and as a woman, she has never carried an in initiative to push Ruto to deliver the promise to women. She has never done that. But the only thing she can do is invite flamboyant pastors, hold crusades, 
hold intercessory meetings and all sorts of drama in the country. Wacha apumzike. Please, let her rest. We are tired of their drama. Three Sundays, she's never been seen in church. Hakuna mtu anamkataza kuenda kanisa. If she feels to go to church, wacha aend abudu. Lakini mamba ya kuenda na magari, mamba ya kukimbia na masecurity, mamba ya kukimbia na macheska, it is coming to an end. Thank you, Gen Cs, for your dedicated effort. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asanteni sana na mbarekiwe.